Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here and today I'd like to speak to you about the unlimited capabilities of the subconscious mind. Now to begin with, although the conscious mind is very limited in its abilities and sometimes it seems like we have difficulty walking and chewing bubblegum at the same time, the subconscious on the other hand is unlimited in its abilities. Just as an example, I'd like to tell you about when I first became an instructor back in 1998. I remember my first class I had 17 students in it. Think of that, 17 students and since I just began I was running a solo office, one instructor. So I did a thing called combat hypnosis. What I mean by that was I paired off the entire group, all 17 people, in groups of two. So of course I had eight groups of two students working with each other and I had one straggler. Then what I did was one student would actually hypnotize the other one in his group. So I had eight groups of people hypnotizing each other, plus I had the 17th person hypnotizing me at the same time. I stood in the middle, and the groups were basically scattered within three rooms that all opened so I could see and hear them all. Now here's what happens. Again, the subconscious mind, once you attain that relaxed state or that open state of mind, which is basically the alpha brainwave state onward, you're able to do simultaneous tasks all at the same time, which is what simultaneous means, right? <laughs> but anyways, you're able to do all these things. So what happened when they began hypnotizing each other, I had eight people being hypnotized, so eight people speaking at once, plus the ninth one hypnotizing me. Now by the ninth one hypnotizing me, he was able to bring me in a deep enough state of relaxation that I attained alpha. Actually, I went right to theta. I go into hypnosis very easily. And being there, I was able to hear all eight conversations, in his case, nine at the same time. I was kind of shocked myself. I was able to stop someone if they said something wrong. Let's say uh, this group over here, this gentleman maybe said, some, uh, said a word wrong. It was going too fast or too slow. I was able to walk up to them, come out of hypnosis and say, you need to slow down. You need to say it this way. Then I'd go back, relax, go into hypnosis. And if I hear a mistake over there, I'd be able to go back and forth. And they were shocked how I could pick up everything all at once. Now, you think about that. Is that possible? Let's think about it consciously. Okay, with the conscious mind, your mind is working a lot slower. You can only hear maybe one conversation at a time. Think about it. When's the last time you've been to some kind of a family function, an outing, or any kind of get-together where there's a lot of people speaking? Next time you go to a function like this, try listening to just one couple speaking. Let's say you have 20 people in the room, so that's 10 groups, 10 people talking at once. You can focus on one couple and understand what they're saying. Then you can focus on another couple and you can understand what they're saying, but the first couple kind of blends in with your subconscious again. It kind of becomes a white noise. But it's interesting how when you just look and focus at someone, focus on one group, you can understand what they're saying. Now the more you relax, the more you'll be able to understand even more. You might be able to pick up what two groups are saying. But when you're in the subconscious, the true subconscious, which is you know, deeper part of alpha into theta and forward. And we're going to be talking about these in other talks at different brainwave levels. But when you're in the deeper states of relaxation, you're able to understand more and more and eventually you'll be able to pick up all of them. Now your subconscious mind picks it up all the time. So if you didn't hear all of it, you can go back into hypnosis and pick up what, what one group, use regression to pick up what one group was saying. But the neat thing is, if you happen to be in hypnosis at the time, which I was, you can pick it all up at the same time, and it's pretty amazing. Now I realize having all my students do hypnosis this way was kind of tough. As a matter of fact, the person doing the hypnosis it was really helping them with learning how to focus. But the interesting thing is, all the people that were being hypnotized were actually hypnotized easier than if we were just doing a one-on-one -on -one session. Because by them trying to listen to the person, only listen to the person hypnotizing them, they were hearing all the other noise. So there was a lot of confusion going on. Imagine if you're being spoken to and you're trying to listen to one conversation and everybody's speaking to you. You go through a state, or your, your mind goes through a state of what's called critical mass. It's like an analytical session that's happening. It's kind of like if you were sitting down at your desk really engrossed in what you're doing and your daughter walks in the room and says, hey dad, I'd like to borrow the car keys and go for a ride, okay? And you go, yeah, and you point at the car keys, she picks them up and leaves, 
And then a couple minutes later, you come, whoa, wait a minute, she doesn't even have a driver's license, okay? But by then, it's too late. You were so focused on something, you hit that critical mass that any suggestion said comes right through into your mind. And that's exactly what happens when you hear all these voices at once. There's so many voices going on, you're trying to focus on the one that's hypnotizing you, so it, the suggestions go through a lot better. Subliminals can be made that way as well. Matter of fact, one of my first subliminal CDs I ever made was called 15 Voices, which was basically I did 15 different tracks in a, in a recording studio, and they put all the tracks together, played them at the same time on one CD. Now, listening to it, it sounded like a bunch of white noise. You couldn't understand it consciously, I mean. You couldn't understand what was going on, but if you close your eyes and relax, all those suggestions were being accepted by the subconscious mind at the same time. Now, I'd like to say my 15 Voices Hypnosis CD was a great, a great success. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Because most people that listen to subliminals, the subliminals usually have relaxing music and you don't even hear the voice. Well, my relaxing music was all the other voices because I thought, well, more voices, more suggestion, more help. But it actually caused people to have headaches. Uh, no, not dangerous ones, but just they were just annoyed with, it's like being in a crowd all day long. After a while, you've had enough of all these people talking and you want to relax. So it's a great thing to try, but you don't want to go out and make CDs and sell them this way. You might be asking, well, how hard is it to attain this alpha state or to go even deeper? Did you know that just by closing your eyes, you're bringing yourself about 80% into the alpha state, into the hypnotic state? And by taking a deep breath, you go a little further. And that's why when someone's doing a hypnosis session, at the beginning, they tell the client to close their eyes and to take three deep breaths because it helps to relax them and bring them into that hypnotic state. And of course, as they go through the session, they relax them even more. So next time you go to a gathering, go ahead and try it. Focus on one couple, see how much you can understand of what they're saying. Then focus on another one, see if you could do two at a time. When you see that you just can't absorb anymore, close your eyes, take a deep breath, leave your eyes closed, and then listen to the conversation and see how much more you'll understand. In fact, come back and leave me a comment so I know how you did. Thanks for listening and have a great day.